Hello and welcome to another video and today as you can see we are on MotoGP18 once again from the 2019 mod video and we are here at Assen as Tom Luty, obviously we are in the Moto2 class as well. So uh, we're here for a live com as well because uh, I thought we hadn't really done a live com on a MotoGP game for a while or a Moto2 race so I thought let's just do it. So lights and away we go. Have we passed Roberts already? I think we have in this extreme of... Uh, Odendahl, I forgot his name for a second there. In the brakes of turn one, got to get close to my now. Odendahl's just clipped our rear end and down he's gone. That's uh, probably going to sound a bit weird out of context, but there you go. On the inside of Kyle and Pau, Belega really trying to get the inside. tulevic has gone a bit wide as well. So we're trying to cut under as many riders as we can. Almost contact with Pau there. Bit of a crash, for, oh, bit of a crash ahead. Marcel Strotter and um, somebody else. Uh, well, I think a couple of the riders. I think one of them might have been, uh, one of them was Remy Gardner, yeah gone off into the gravel and Brad Binder as well so quite a few riders gone there quite a few of the top runners as well oh just been hit by Powey into the Veen sign I think that's what it's called through the Ruskin hook now on the inside of Bo Benchard around the outside Nagashima and one of the Honda Asia bikes trying to get the inside he's left there's plenty of room so uh, appreciate that some get Chantra there as it uh, said on the uh, right hand side so Gusto Fernandez now trying to make a move up ahead is that on uh, Dominic Agato almost lost the rear end on that curb and we've had a bit of contact with Fernandez. Is he going to leave the inside open? We've gone on the inside of him, we've forced him wide. But Agata's run wide as well. We're going to cut underneath Agata, we can't quite get the power down and go under him. Uh, that's Agata, a bit of contact with Agata there, forcing him out wide. Bit of a harsh move, but what can you do here? We've cut the inside of that curb a little bit. There's been another crash behind, I think. It was, uh, no, it was Jorge Martin, so it must have been in front of us. Another crash ahead. Oh, and another crash! Oh, Ike Laquonas has fallen off, so... A lot of AI going down here in this race. Up to P12 already after the end of the first lap through the final chicane. Wow, we've cut a massive bit of that out. Someone else is down as well. Is that Bezeki? No, I uh, uh, don't think it was Bezeki actually. I didn't, see, didn't quite catch who it was. Uh, it was, uh, I don't know actually. I guess we'll never know. It might have been Locatelli maybe, I'm not sure. But uh, Philip Ertel trying to get the inside of Simone Corsi up ahead. We are going to have to sit behind that for now. But a uh, bit of a weird order here in this race because of all the crashes. Oh, hang on. Agatha Strutt's got the inside through Strubben. But Philip Ertel all over the back of Corsi. We're going down the straight. We're going to have to try and go around their outsides here into the Veen Slank. Don't want to stick it on the inside into the Ruskin Hook, really. It's a bit dangerous, but cutting on the inside of both of them now up into P9. So Jorge Navarro up ahead next, and I felt, felt that's Locatelli next to him, so it wasn't Locatelli that went down. Uh, perhaps it was uh, Marini, actually, because it was blue, wasn't it, I think, so... Yeah, perhaps it was Luca Marini that has fallen off, or perhaps it was one of the Mark VDS riders, but I'm not 100% sure. I guess we'll find out at the end of the race. But we're actually rapidly approaching the end of the race now, just a lap and a little bit to go. Basically a lap and a quarter, really. You can see... Uh, Quite a bit of weaving up ahead. I think Navarro is probably going to crash by the looks of it. Yeah, he's gone completely on the grass, so we're going to get the position of him. Uh, I think he might just crash on the curb on the outside there. No, he's rejoined the circuit. I saw the arrow, uh, the proximity arrow, through turn 17 or the final chicane. So we're now up into eighth position. So actually, I think it might have been Marquez crashed at the end of the chicane. I oh know he's done the fastest lap, so probably not. I didn't see the name pop. Oh no, but Martin did as well, so perhaps, or maybe he was involved in the other crash earlier on with Chavi Vieja, his teammate. But, uh, Locatelli still in front, going through Strummer now. Second gear probably not the best gear to use for that corner, to be completely honest. But it'll get us out of there. And the stream of Locatelli, well, not really, sort of a distant toe from him. Hopefully we can try and pass him and catch Lowe's before the end of the lap, but uh, not sure how possible that's going to be. Cutting underneath, oh, that's, that's risky, but uh, that did allow us to catch up to Lowe's pretty quickly. We're already on the back of Lowe's now because of that. The second wall. We've got to watch out into this corner, obviously. It's uh, really easy to misjudge the braking and just lose the front through the bolt. The AI actually aren't too bad through there. I think I might have knocked Marquez off in one of the videos uh, there before. But uh, Lowe's has got the position for now, but I think we should be able to get him. Maybe if we can get him, we can have a look at Digi at the last chicane. But no, he sort of blocked us through the Duke of Sloot. Yes, uh, the corner names are a bit odd here, aren't they? But the inside through that corner, whatever. 
but Digi Antonio is the rider ahead. So maybe we can have a look at Digi into the last chicane if we can push the Rams hook as much as we can. He's a little too far ahead. Don't want to lock the rear up, it's easy to do in a motor two. About the last corner, it's going to be sixth place. Not too bad considering. Uh, well, actually, I suppose a lot of crashes happened, but uh, we did get held up a little bit behind some of the slower riders, so it's not the best, the but it wasn't too bad. Now, so it wasn't Xavi Vierge that crashed at the start. I thought Xavi Vierge crashed and took a few off with him. Maybe it was Marquez that crashed. Well, Marquez definitely crashed, but uh, not quite sure why. Uh, Binder as well, wasn't there? Marini definitely crashed as well. He's quite far down the order, so... Yeah, it was a bit of a crash-filled race. But I hope you did enjoy that one. It was uh, quite fun to race at, actually. Uh, quite close. I was, I was pushing quite a bit, but I couldn't quite... Obviously, two and a half seconds is quite a bit. Uh, and We didn't actually even have the fastest lap, so we didn't really have the pace to compete in that race. But uh, compared to like the couple of riders in front of us, like Digi and uh, uh, Anea, we definitely had the pace over there. In fact, even uh, Bezeki to a certain extent. Um, Baldessari seems to have like, sort of dominated that race, and I guess it makes sense... Um, since a lot of the other leaders fell off. But uh, enough rambling. I hope you did enjoy that race. As I said, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And I shall see you in the next one.